Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on the AP Calculus 2017 free response questions. And so we're looking at number four now, which again is the non calculator portion. So here at time t equals zero, a boiled potato is taken from the pot on a stove and left to cool in a kitchen. The internal temperature of the potato is 91 degrees Celsius at time t equals zero, and the internal temperature of the potato is greater than 27 degrees C for all times t greater than zero. The internal temperature of the potato at time t minutes can be modeled by the function h that satisfies the differential equation, blah, where h of t is measured in degrees Celsius. So it starts off at 91 degrees. and it stays above 27 degrees and it goes like that okay write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of h at t equals zero use the equation to approximate the internal temperature times t equal three okay when i want a line equation i want we've done this before on previous ones it's and you're always going to be asked to find some line tangent slope point form y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught okay i need a point and I need the slope. The point's pretty easy. The point is, um, actually, uh, instead of x, really it needs to be t, but it's not a big deal what letter you use. It's just you want to be clear, t minus t naught. OK, so in this case, the point we're interested in is t equals 0 and 91c, right? Because they tell you, so, so y is 91c or um, To not be confusing, I'm just going to do it in terms of x, just because, I don't know, x minus x naught. Just, just, you're more, more used to seeing it like, okay, so it's y minus 91 equals m times x, 6, because x naught is 0, right? We're, we're at time t equals 0. Okay, now I need to figure out the slope. The slope is given by this differential equation, right, the derivative. It's equal to negative 1 fourth h h is 91 in this case minus 27 so 91 minus 27 that's what 64 64 over 4 is 16 so minus 16 so the equation is y equals negative 16 x I'll bring the 91 to the other side plus 91 okay so um, in terms of the letters that they want it's really this h equals negative 16 t plus 91 Okay, so that's the equa that's the linear approximation tangent line, um, because the tangent touches that point and it has the same slope at that point. That's why we use the derivative to for the slope, right? Um, that's what a tangent means. It touches the curve and it has the same slope at that point. Um, so we're gonna approximate three. So h of three um, would be three times sixteen is minus forty eight plus ninety one. So h of 3 would equal uh, 43. OK, so that's our approximation. Use the second derivative to determine whether your answer in part a is an underestimate or an overestimate for the internal temperature at times t equals 3. So the second derivative is just the derivative of this, dt squared. Um, derivative of this the minus one fourth doesn't do anything and it's just dh dt and the 27 derivative that's constant okay now dh dt we've already found at time oh well, no actually we didn't figure out so at times t equals three uh wait let me think dh dt, DH, DT is always negative right like this is always negative because h is always bigger than 27 because it's cooling down. Starting at 91 is going to cool down. It's always bigger than 27. So this is this term is always positive. Then times the negative 1 fourth, it makes it negative. So this part is always negative times the thing. That makes this thing always positive, right? So the second derivative is greater than 0. So the second derivative greater than 0 means the function is like this. Should it be concave up? I feel like, oh, it's like this, or it could be like this. You know, it's like a bowl, you know? This case is probably like this. So the second derivative is concave up. 
Um, what that means is when we when we extrapolated our line, we probably are underestimating because really it's flattening out more, right? That's what this is saying. So it's an underestimate. Right, because the line that we extrapolated from, you know, we estimated here, but the real value is above it, and that's because it's concave up. All right, so that's B. C for t, t less than zero, an alternative model for the internal temperature of the potato at time t minutes is the function g that satisfies the differential equation, blah, where g of t is measured in degrees Celsius. Now, anyway, find expression for g of t. Based on this model, what is the internal temperature of the potato times t equals 3? So I want you to solve this differential equation now. And when you're doing calculus AB, maybe on BC, that BC I'm not, I don't remember exactly. But the only way you know how to solve a differential equation is um, uh, separation of variables. Uh, let me read this again. Find an expression for G of T. This is an interesting question. How are you supposed to separate the variables here oh okay well yeah all right never mind this is sorry i i don't know why i'm spacing okay i'm just gonna bring this whole thing down because there's no t in this side so separating is actually pretty straightforward dg over and i'll put the negative here g minus 27 to the two-thirds equals dt so i bring the dt up and i bring this side down um so let's see i'm gonna and then i and then i can integrate both sides so the right side is just t plus c which is fine the integral of this is negative let's write this as g minus 27 to the um, negative two-thirds so um this um Technically, I need to do a u sub, but like this u sub is trivial, so you can just do power rule directly. I'm going to add one to the exponent. That makes that one third. I divide by one third, and I still have this negative sign equals t plus c. So if I multiply through by one third, I get, or negative one third, I get g minus 27 to the one third equals negative one third t plus a C, you know, the constant like you just leave alone until like you, you have to actually solve for the thing. Because if I multiply this constant by three, it's just another constant. So then I'm gonna cube both sides. So G minus 27 equals negative one third T plus C cubed. And then so G is equal to negative one third T plus C cubed plus 27. Now, in order to find the C value, you need to have an initial condition. So in this case, I know G of zero is 91. So G of zero would be C cubed plus 27. That equals 91. Because when I plug in zero, this is zero. Zero plus C is C, C cubed. C cubed would equal 27 minus 91, which would be 64. That means C is equal to four, because the cube root of 64 is four. Because four times four is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So g of t then equal to negative um, 1 third t plus 4 cubed plus 27. Okay, now let's look at the scoring guidelines. Those are the three parts. Um, for a, uh, 91 minus 16t. Yep underestimate because um, it's concave up yeah because second derivative is up okay this one setting this all up I get 27 oh no uh, oh I didn't answer the question what is it based on this model was the internal temperature point time t equals three I should have plugged in three Ugh. g of three is equal to 
negative 1 plus 3, that's 3 cubed plus 27. That's 27 plus 27, that's 54. Well, did I get the equation right? 27 plus 4 minus 1, yeah, it's the same thing. 4 minus 130, um, and then 54 degrees. Okay, so I didn't really read about answering the second part of the question, so sorry about that. I actually did want to just do that for you, even though it's, it's highly trivial to just plug in three once you have the answer. But I didn't actually do it, so I did that right here. Okay, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe if you like to say anything or um, have any feedback or just enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one for free response question number five. Thanks.